thank you all so much for um, joining me. And I'm really excited to talk to you about the strategic UX management program that I've got coming up starting September 28th. And um, today I'm just going to talk a little bit about you know, the upcoming program, and I'm going to give you an introduction to the format of, of it, talk a little bit about why, <laughs> why it's important, why I'm doing it, and hear from you why you're interested. Um, I am going to talk a little bit about the six foundational elements of strategic UX management, which is what we're going to be um, learning and practicing and in, in the program, and then we'll have some Q&A. So I hope that we have time for everything. It's a lot to cover. So just a little bit about me, for those of you who don't know me. Um, I have been a leader in technology, specifically in user experience, design, and research for over 20 years. And I've worked at big companies like Amazon, and I've worked at um, medium-sized companies like Getty Images and Brooks Running and agencies, and I've been a consultant. Um, I've led teams creating... Uh, gosh, <laughs> so many different things, design software, games, um, highly complex platforms, B2B, B2C, e-commerce, that's just to name a few. So I feel really fortunate that I've been able to do so many really wonderful and challenging things in my career. And as a team leader, I got to a point where um, the most fulfilling thing for me and where I felt like I was adding the most value was really in um, <clears throat> developing high-performing teams. Hello there, Michelle. And uh, <clears throat> so we're and working with the teams, developing high-performing teams and working with individuals on their own UX journey and their own UX leadership journey, um, design, research, writing, uh, front-end development, whatever that was. Uh, so a couple of years ago, um, I kind of went through my own transitional um, discovery and began a transition into coaching. And uh, less than a year ago, I quit my job in technology so that I could so I could focus on building my business as a coach for UX leaders. Um, and it's been incredibly fulfilling. Um, it's been a different kind of work <laughs> for me, um, but I find it just incredibly um, meaningful to work with folks who are, um, you know, the current and upcoming leaders in design and research and um, helping support those folks in, in doing just getting the work that you want to be doing and doing meaningful work. So that's just a bit about me. Um, so the first thing I want to ask <clears throat> as we dive into this is why. I can tell you a little bit about why, um, why this is important from my perspective, but I really want to hear from you all. Um, what was it, what is it about the description of this program um, that resonates with you and that feels uh, like it could bring some value? And if you want to throw that into the chat. Um, I can tell you a little bit about why I have, you know, what I've heard uh, from clients and from people on my teams as to why this is in so, why this is so important. Um, going, being a strategic manager is uh, something that is really incredibly impactful. There's, there's one thing in uh, moving in your career from being an IC into management, but it's another level altogether, really, when you talk about how, how you can be most impactful in your role leading a team. And that can, there may not be a lot of folks uh, where you work who are also leaders in UX. Um, that's something that's really common <laughs> uh, for a lot of people in design and research. There aren't other leaders and they ladder up to maybe a product leader or a development leader. Um, that's one area um, of concern. And another is 
is um, having a safe space to to do that and um, non judgmental and <laughs> not wanting to admit you don't know everything um, to whoever your leaders are and so doing that in a group of uh, people who are kind of in the same uh, dealing with the same challenges. So Andrea is working on getting that first manager job. And I hear this, haven't always had great managers and want to learn how to do it right. And I'll tell you, 80%, 80% of people who quit a job are quitting their managers. They are not it's not quitting the company, they're quitting their managers. And that's just crazy that we, that companies don't see the, the need <laughs> to develop managers um, or the, the programs that they get just um, aren't useful. And I'll talk about why. Um, <clears throat> and Eddie is still new to UX management and looking for growth opportunities. Yeah, for sure. That's another area of like, how do I grow where I'm at or elsewhere? You know, how do I position myself? Um, but how do, how do I um, create interesting, like valuable, impactful work where I'm at as well? And um, Lexa is also wanting to, um, to be in a community and network of other people who are in UX management. And that is those are all reasons <laughs> why I've uh, why I'm creating this program and why I think it's a really unique opportunity. Um, strategic management, firstly, what is strategic <laughs> and what is strategic management? Um, strategic simply means at its core that um, strategy is a plan or a method for meeting high level objectives for the future. So being strategic means that you are very clear on what those objectives are and that everything that you're doing is in service to those high level objectives. So everything that you're doing in your role is moving you toward your high level objectives and your purpose. Uh, so that means you need to understand <laughs> very clearly your objectives, what's most important, as well as your team's objectives and your company's objectives. And your teams of, by team's objectives, I'm not talking about what your manager says your team should be working on or what your stakeholders say your team should be working on. Those things are very important, but it is really critical for you leading a team uh, to identify your own objectives and your team objectives with all of that as input, but knowing what, um, doing the work to understand what's actually gonna be most impactful for your team to be doing and for you to be doing. Um, so that's part of what we do in, in this program. In fact, that's what we start with. Um, <clears throat> it means that you have a vision for yourself and a vision for your team and a vision for your work and your team's work and you're building relationships that move you and your team and your work toward your vision, and you're finding opportunities for yourself and for your team that propel you forward and also develop the maturity of user experience uh, or design at your organization. So, and all of that, plus I believe that being successful also means feeling balanced, feeling fulfilled, doing work that feels meaningful and, uh, and leading with compassion. So if that sounds like a lot, <laughs> I can understand that. Um, so I wanna dial it back a little bit because the whole point of strategy is you're working on, you're not working on everything all at once. You're working on what's gonna be most impactful and most valuable right now. For those who aren't familiar with all the details of the program, it starts September 28th. Um, it goes for seven weeks. That is six learning sessions and then um, a, at least two group coaching sessions, more if, um, if the group feels like that is highly valuable. Um, and then um, in between, oh, and then the seventh session is kind of a wrap up and you build your action plan. Um, in between, there, there 
there aren't require it, well, there aren't requirements at all. <laughs> there aren't even requirements to show up. Obviously, um, uh, showing up is uh, probably the most important thing that you could do. Um, and then in between the sessions, there, there's kind of homework, but the homework is work that you decide is going to be most important for you to do in your place of work. Um, and it's putting into practice the things that uh, we learned in the learning sessions, the insights that you gathered from the learning session, and then, um, and your own reflections on how things are going. Um, a big, big part of leadership is self-awareness. And as we get into more and more challenging um, roles and, you know, doing work that that may be new to us, um, <clears throat> it's really important that we, uh, that we are very self-aware and that we stay connected to, um, to what's most important. Um, so then the group coaching format of that is a one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I coach a person, they come with you know, a specific sort of thing that they want to work through. Um, and we kind of, sometimes it's a little vague, sometimes they know specifically what it is, but we always get to, pretty quickly, we get to, you know, what's going to be the most important thing that, um, to work on. They usually last around 20 minutes, um, and the whole group is, is on the call. So, um, the first one of these is going to happen after we've all met, um, together, I think probably a couple of times. And um, it, it sounds kind of scary to some people, but honestly, um, working in a group like this, uh, you'll get to know people um, fairly quickly. And then, um, and, and it's, it's a safe space and um, it's an okay place to, to get a little bit vulnerable. Um, and that can feel a little awkward at first, but uh, I, I've been through many group coaching programs myself and you get over it <laughs> or I have gotten over it and I don't like being vulnerable. So <laughs> um, let's see. I did get a couple of questions specifically around uh, format. How much time should I set aside weekly? So um, the minimum is an hour and a half of showing up for the learning session. And on some weeks, there would be a one hour group coaching session that would be um, really beneficial to show up to um, because the whole group learns from each other. Um, you really do. And then homework um, could really be as little as 15 minutes a day for self-reflection, or you might spend half a day in um, developing your team vision um, or um, team, your team values with your team um, one week. So I'd say you could, um, if you did as little as an average of four hours a week with some weeks less and some weeks more, you would still get a whole lot of value out of it. And just like, you know, when, just like going to school, like you get out of it what you put in. Um, and if you need to miss a couple of sessions, the sessions are recorded. And um, also I wanna say, because this is a group program, it is a community. And so um, we may decide to kind of pair up with accountability partners and, or we might leave that informal. Um, part of group coaching is that the group has a say in um, sort of the development of, of what the format is and, and things like that. The other thing that I wanna mention um, for those who maybe don't know is that this is, um, this is the first time I'm offering this program. And even though um, the, the work itself is, is work that I've done and work that I've done with people on teams uh, that I have had and, um, and coaching clients as well. So um, the work itself is all really, um, well 
established, <laughs> I'd say, as far as the validity of it. Um, but doing this group program uh, specifically is the first time for me. And so part of that is it's it's a bit of an experiment to see what works for the group. And um, because of that, it is 50% of what the normal um, price will be starting next January. So right now it's 630 and next January, it'll be 1260. Um, and, um, and also because of that, um, you'll be able to give your input a, a lot. Um, I'll be asking for your input quite a bit. The reason that a lot of other development courses that you might take at work um, don't work very well. Um, if you were sitting, <laughs> if you were sitting in a room or on Zoom, uh, listening to someone talk to you most of the time, um, the elements uh, for sustained learning to happen um, require not only consuming learning content; it always re it also requires reflection, practice, and feedback. So. Um, this program is designed to incorporate all of these areas over a seven week period of time so that you can begin to actually make changes at work and get non judgmental feedback in the program. And uh, so the idea is that you'll have actual sustainable learning that you can use throughout the rest of your career. Um, so I want to talk at a very high level about the six foundational elements of strategic UX management. Um, and I want to make sure that you don't start feeling overwhelmed because uh, the overarching theme of this program is that it is strategic, which means we can't do it all. And it's not in our best interest to try. Um, I struggle with this all the time. We can't move forward on all the great ideas. So we have to identify the objectives. We have to take many things into consideration, make assessments and narrow down to what is the highest impact and then prioritize, capture the best ideas and prioritize based on impact. And that's what we'll be doing in each of these sessions. Um, the idea is that all of these things, I'll go back, all of these things in and of themselves are very important, but together they are greater than the sum of their parts. Um, leadership vision, values and strengths, leader mindset, effective communication, influence and impact, and developing a high performance team. So clearly just working on any one of these things for a week doesn't you know, um, isn't enough <laughs> forever. Um, these are things that, and some of these things you may already have mastery in. Um, we have folks at different um, experience levels um, in, in all of these things in this program. So, uh, so you may have different levels of mastery in each one of these things. The idea is that you identify what's gonna be most impactful within this topic for you to work on right now and what would be helpful you know, down the road uh, to keep in mind um, for your own development and for your team's development as well. So um, yeah. I wanna give you a minute to read this because I think, uh, Leadership vision is something that we don't hear about often enough and we don't think about often enough. But it's super important to be clear on where you're headed. It's also very important to be able to communicate this to others in a way that's really easy for others to visualize. Um, when you think about communicating to your boss or your skip level, or um, when you are in, you know, talking about a new job, um, it's very important that you're able to uh, articulate this 
in a way that, um, that sounds exciting to other people. And part of your leadership vision is also going to be developing a vision for your team if you don't already have it. Um, but about leadership vision, uh, I remember the first time that I was asked, what's your leadership style in an interview? And I had to come up with an answer on the spot because I had never actually considered that before. And I had been leading teams for several years already. And I'm embarrassed to say that I hadn't I hadn't uh, really considered it. So it seemed like something I really should have an answer for. Um, if you Google leadership styles, you're gonna get, uh, you know, 100,000 uh, articles about lists of the four leadership styles or the five or the seven or the 17 or the 20. Um, but none of those really describes you and the kind of leader that you are and the kind of leader that you want to be. So it's really important to start out with that clear leadership vision um, before we create a vision for our team so that we can incorporate our own personal vision into our team's vision um, and do so in a way that is that your team's gonna be very enthusiastic about. Um, now, before I move on, to, uh, to the next slide, I, I want to say something about team vision, because it was, um, I heard this from another design leader, and uh, it was so helpful for me to realize that we are in an industry that is in high demand, even when there are layoffs. <laughs> it's still very difficult to find high-performing, um, experienced designers and researchers, if you don't come, um, if you don't provide a compelling team vision, uh, vision for your team, the best people on your team will more than likely move on to the next manager that does. And you cannot rely on your boss to do this. So, um, the nice thing about having a space like this, if you haven't created that team vision is you'll be encouraged to do so. Um, but in a space where you can, you can sort of work through ideas with other people as well. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna get, breeze through these very quickly. Your values, um, what's most important and your strengths, what you are innately best at. Um, for you to work at your highest capacity where you have a balance of mastery and challenge, starts with being aligned with your values and your strengths. And those change over time, actually, depending on the environment and our circumstances. But our value and our strengths drive our motivation. And so being aligned with them um, takes way less energy um, than when we are not aligned. We often find that um, when our work environment is highly stressful, um, there are all sorts of reasons for that, but part of it can be just a lack of alignment in your values and strengths um, if you haven't sort of examined that lately. Um, and this is also something that you need to work on with each of your team members as well as your team as a whole. So um, the importance of this early in the program is to help you clarify what's most important and what will have impact as we go through the other modules. Um, and we come to mindset. And I think arguably this is one of the most important tools for any leader because your mind can be your most powerful ally and it can be your biggest obstacle. <laughs> so having the team, the, the tools to manage our mind is really essential building block for anyone who um, is continuing to meet new challenges and do hard things um, and also maintain balance. So um, we will go into leadership mindset, which is um, often called growth mindset. Um, there's also so there's growth versus fixed mindset, and there's also learner versus judger mindset. So these are two, uh, two things that we'll talk about that are um, really important for leaders, and you can get a sense of um, where you'd like to put your energy um, 
these are lifelong learning and practice uh, habits. So even if uh, you feel like you already have a really good understanding of mindset, um, this will be a really great opportunity for you to look at um, where you can grow and then also to think about you know, where others on your team might be getting stuck. Uh, effective communication obviously is, uh, <laughs> it's a key to, to so many other things. Um, as, as we like continue to, um, lead teams, but also we need to build relationships. That's actually the, the next module is, is building strategic partnerships, um, influence and impact. So having really effective communication and there are so many areas where we need effective communication and so many areas where an, each individual may feel, you know, various strengths or gaps. I know early on for me, one of my gaps that I identified was um, um, an ability to give direct yet compassionate feedback. And um, we'll talk a little bit about radical candor. Um, or compassionate candor, um, it was something that I really had to work on um, in order to, to be able to give that difficult feedback. You know, everybody has, you know, specific areas that, um, that they could work on. And then influence and impact. I, I used to call this strategic, strategic relationship or strategic partnerships. Um, I think strategic partnerships is part of influence and impact. And this is one of the areas I hear the most actually from <laughs> across all the people that I, um, that are interested in my programs that I coach, that I talk to is um, increasing influence, um, increasing influence for myself, for my team, for my work. Um, it's, it's seen as very important and it is very important um, and there's a whole lot of different aspects to it. So building strategic partnerships is one way. Um, managing up is another aspect. Um, looking for opportunities for yourself and for your team and measuring impact. Um, those are all things that are incredibly important to building influence and impact for ourselves and, and for um, UX at our organization or for our team specifically. So again, not to overwhelm you, but to give you an opportunity to see there are a lot of different ways that you could be influencing and impacting. <laughs> what are the ways that are going to be most important for you that align to your strengths, that um, you can get help from your team, you can, you know, there, there are a lot of ways to not have to do all of this on your own. Um, and that's what strategic partnerships are about. So you don't have to do it all alone. Um, so this is, I think, going to be a really exciting, challenging, but exciting um, uh, part of the program. So, um, and then lastly, we've got people and team development. So this is about developing high-performing teams. So some of your, some of the individuals on your team are gonna be more high-performing than others. How do you make sure everybody is working at their capabilities and at their capacity and still feeling motivated um, and um, doing, uh, feeling as you know, excited as you do about having the impact at the at the company so that they are helping you. You will succeed when your team succeeds. And um, I have found that not not across the board, but um, to a large extent, people in UX fields, so design and research, writing, front end development, um, are tend to be fairly compassionate <laughs> as well as passionate um, about 
uh, their teams, about collaboration. And so um, chances are the reason you're here is you want to, to actually be excelling at creating excellent teams um, and being a great coach and mentor for your team. So that's something that we'll dive into. The last session will be putting it all together and creating an action plan that you can use moving forward. Um, I think the timing of this is, is kind of cool because most companies have their personal development um, either yearly or by um, twice a year. And uh, that often happens or starts in January. So this will like absolutely feed right into, you know, what you need to develop or what you want your team to work on. And um, so the timing of this, I think, should be really helpful. Okay. That was a lot. Um, so if you want to throw any questions that you have into the chat, that would be great. I will start with some of the questions that I have received already. So the pricing, I went over that. Um, it is a 50% discount for this first cohort, uh, 630 US. Um, also consider employer reimbursement. So um, I do have kind of a sales sheet that I have available. And um, if you would like that, you can just let me know. Um, what if I need to miss a couple of sessions? That is okay. You will still get a lot out of it. Like I mentioned, um, the recordings are available. And um, because we are a community, the expectation is, and it has always worked this way in my experience, that other folks are more than willing to maybe meet with you for a half an hour and just sort of to do the discussion part that you missed out on. Um, in the live session. And another part that we do in the live session is, it, you know, we work in breakout rooms. So there's an ability to work, um, to, to discuss things, but also to get feedback. Um, other timing options, I would love it. Um, not yet. <laughs> right now, there's only one time option. It's 8 a.m. on Wednesdays, that specific time. Um, if there is enough um, interest, meaning if I get at least, if I felt, so I'm capping this at 16, by the way. Um, and we're on our way there, but we're not there yet. So I am thinking if we do get 16, um, then I may actually make it a second session, so with another time um, that people can choose. Um, and then let's see, so Ankita. Um, oh, <laughs> thank you, Ankita. That was a, a question to me about um, success stories from the years of coaching that I've done. Oh my goodness. Um, I mean, I, the, the folks who come to me with coaching tend to be, um, already achieving a lot, but, um, wanting to either, um, feel more confident or wanting to sort of dive into <laughs> often it's uh, increasing their influence, um, setting them up for a promotion, um, and, or sometimes it's, um, that is the presenting, you know, I remember uh, one of the women that I worked with from Amazon, um, she had a, you know, she, she was going to be putting herself up for promotion. Um, and so that was sort of the presenting <laughs> thing that she came with. Um, it turned out she also was really struggling with balancing. Um, you can imagine at Amazon and she had a small child um, and she wanted to have another. There were all sorts of things going on um, with her as far as her mindset and as far as you know what she thought was possible. And we dove into those things. We dove into um, 
you know, what was actually going to set her up for success, where her strengths were and where she felt um, would have the most impact as far as um, her gaps. And, um, uh, you know, it, not only did she get the promotion, but she just felt much more calm. <laughs> and she had her, she was pregnant with her second when she got the promotion. And um, so I think uh, I love that story because it is just an example of how you, the, the problem that you see wanting to solve is one thing and what ends up being solved is um, many other things. Um, and then <clears throat> Alex, tailored to newer managers. Um, I think it will benefit any level of experience. And I say that because most managers, whether you're new or experienced for many years, and that was the case for me, um, have zero to no, <laughs> have zero to no leadership development and, um, and usually none in the area specific to design and research um, or UX. So um, again, I think that you will get out of it what you put into it. Um, but the fact that, uh, well, so I can tell you that the folks who have signed up already are kind of across the board as far as leadership, um, new as well as a few years of experience in managing a team. So, um, so you'll benefit from the work itself and you'll also benefit from the community um, of folks who are looking to increase their leadership skills, um, both hard skills and soft skills. Um, I'm excited about um, who we've got signed up so far. I think this is gonna be a really fantastic group. And I really appreciate your time here with me. Thank you all very much.